first takeaway. See, the fact is, all is not lost. Now, yes, they're coming at us on an unprecedented scale. They're throwing so much stuff at us, they don't think we're going to be able to react. But around you are your brothers and sisters who are engaged in this struggle. This event, this event is all about networking and meeting people, building up that grassroots. Because there's so much. Now, it's never been easier to organize people online. It's absolutely true. That's how these things come together. But nothing beats boots on the ground. How many veterans are in the crowd? You should all be going and thanking these gentlemen and ladies today. Again, I'm not pandering. This is, this is absolutely true. You need to be thanking these people. They've stood on that wall to defend the very things we're fighting for today. And I thank you for coming back into the fight at these events. The fact is, the rest of you are now enlisted in that fight. The rest of you now need to come out and fight for those freedoms, and you are. And I thank you for it. We've got a long, hard road ahead of us. There's no two ways about it, ladies and gentlemen. The very, nat the very nature of this country is up for grabs. This country is going to be slouching towards a philosophy that I dare not want to breathe out the name of it. Because it's scary. But the fact is, by being here, you've taken those steps. Now, you're going to do those things on the 17th. But I need you to come out. I need you to support organizations that are doing these things. In Maryland, for instance, we've got New Day Maryland. If you haven't started a campaign for liberty in your state or your town, I need you to do that. If you haven't organized a tea party in your town, I need you to do that. I need you to come over to my website. Shameless commercial here, www.instituteforliberty.org. Please join us as we're pushing this fight. The fact is, the more we can get in the face of these individuals, the more that we can push back at them, the further that we can go. Today is the 233rd birthday of the United States for America, and I'm hoping I'm not jinxing this. The best legacy that you can leave for this birthday is to tell the story of this nation to talk about the fact that we have rights that are endowed by our Creator. Remember not just the Tenth Amendment, but the Ninth Amendment as well, that says that just because something is enumerated in the Constitution as a right doesn't mean that other rights don't exist, like the right to self-defense in any way possible, the rights to hold and enjoy property. What you need to do is be strenuous about telling the story of this nation you need to be daring. You need to be your, uh, uh, audacious in your own way. You cannot shrink from telling your friends and your neighbors about what is going wrong in America and how we're going to fix it. We're going to push back. We've been taxed enough already. And God willing, we won't be tread on. Thank you all very much. I'm Andrew Langer from the Institute for Liberty.